Shane, Mitch, thanks for being here. Are there uh, any Napalm Death songs that are too fast to play now? Do you think it's gotten faster? Nah. Nah, I mean, we could, put, we could play all the songs, you know, I mean, anything we've done in the past, if we decided to relearn the song, you know, we forgot a few riffs over the years, but um, there's not the desire there really to play some of the songs that are just like non-stop speed all the way, because when you play that live, no one really, I mean, they might get something out of it by watching it, but there's no reaction that we see from the crowd. It's just like speed, and you can't really, you know, whatever they want to call it, mosh or whatever. <clears throat> yeah, when the slow part comes, then they all go crazy. So that's why the new stuff has a lot more slow parts. Do you think your fans are uh, kind of more into the music or the lyrics? It's a bit of both. I think uh, some of our fans take, like, like uh, the music and the lyrics. I think some people get into the music. I think some don't even care about lyrics at all, you know, really. A lot of people also use the lyrics as a dividing line. What separates Napalm Death from a lot of other bands is the fact that the lyrics are serious and from a political point of view are more, you know, just realistic, just day-to-day -day life type of lyrics, you know, type of stuff that maybe people can relate to a little more. Just, yeah, I mean, whatever I go through, I'm sure everyone else has gone through, basically, you know. Just general sort of uh, emotions, just paranoia and fear and depression, you know, stuff like that. Just uh, things that affect you every now and then, I guess. And that's more what I'm into, as opposed to just looking at the, the world and just going, well, this is wrong and that's wrong, because I'm um, sometimes of the belief that I don't think it's ever going to change. It's always going to be the same, you know. Do side projects ever interfere with my time death commitments? Mm, not really. I mean, uh, Usually have a, quite a bit of spare time when we're not touring <clears throat> and uh, just go for it really. I mean, me and Mitch have got several side projects. In a way it helps the band, you know, because um, it helps us get these different ideas out of our system and the more you experiment you kind of find yourself um, learning what will fit in Napalm Death and what won't and stuff and, you know, the more you get out of your system then you just kind of progress as well. Besides Napalm Death, you have other records and you're progressing all in one big circle and it kind of helps everything move all along. Is it kind of random when you get to actually get together? With... It's pretty much random when you pick up a guitar and write the music to begin with. But you're not really sure what you're going to use it for. So it's kind of like written from a point of view where it's just whatever. You know, it's, it's not like there's a wall there like, oh, well, it's got to have a fast part here or anything. At one point it was like that, but not anymore, you know, so it's like... You kind of get more experience as well, I think. <clears throat> yeah, just recording and stuff like that, it helps you in the studio, so next time around when the next Napalm album's ready to go, you've had these other things to, like, learn, you know, and it makes the recording of the next, the next Napalm album almost easier, really. The last album was so easy going, it was uh, ridiculous, really. No, and do you think that was the, the way you approached it? It seemed, seemed to be more a casual affair of recording? I think so. I think it helped as well. I think yeah. it shows maybe a little bit. There was no, like, um, you, when you weren't trapped in a studio for, like, two weeks, and that was it. You had to get everything done in that particular time. <clears throat> we just came and went as we pleased. It was in Birmingham, like, 20 minutes from where we live. We felt like going out to the pub, we did, you know? <laughs> Things uh -huh. like that. It was easy going. Are there any Australian metal bands that you like? Uh, what was a band list? Yesterday we played with them, I quite liked. Ab was it Abramelin? Abramelin, right. They're pretty good. Uh -huh. I like uh, Rupture, which is like a hardcore band. I'm not sure from where they whereabouts they come from around here, but I think they're pretty good. Uh-huh. Like like oh, of course. <laughs> Men at work, man. Men at work? Oh yeah. Men at work. Alright, well on that note we'll leave it. Shane and Mitch, thanks heaps for talking to us. No problem. Have a good tour. Cool.